everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So this reading is going to be about Venus going retrograde on July 22nd. It's from um, July 22nd to September 3rd. And this video is going to be about what you can expect during that time period. So in six more days, Venus uh, will be stationary. And we're going to see what you can expect. Um, the sun is reversed here. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo or you are a Leo. So we're going to see what's coming in. The King of Swords reverse. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. And you may not be happy with this person's behavior. You know, whenever Venus goes retrograde, it's simply about the planet of love shifting into reverse. So some of you may be questioning your connection with this person. I just feel like there's something with the communication here that's off. And you may be questioning like, okay, you know, if you can't communicate with me in a mature way, then we don't need to do this. So you may hold back from this person um, because they're holding back from you. We also have the two of wands. Yeah, making a decision. Some of you are going to be trying to make a decision whether you're going to keep this person in your life and the cards are just falling out of the deck. I feel like this is someone that you want the Ten of Cups with, but you're questioning whether you can have the Ten of Cups with this person. It may feel like this is someone who's playing games with you. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect? During Venus retrograde from July 22nd to September 3rd, the hangman. So some of you can expect that this situation to be stagnant. Trying to make up your mind about something. Um, things not moving forward. Some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. So what I'm seeing on the board is I see Leo energy with the sun reverse, the king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then Pisces energy. So you could be one of those uh, signed trying to figure out if in, uh, within the next six days, trying to figure out what are you going to do about the situation. Some of you may wind up walking away from this person and getting back with them after September 3rd, um, after Venus goes direct. That's what I'm picking up here. So let's see. Yep, the three of swords. Somebody is going to do something that's going to piss you off or is going to um, bring some sort of disappointment with the Three of Swords. And it may be about a third party situation. I feel like for those of you who are resonating with this, it's already happening. And I feel like the situation is going to escalate. You may want to talk about it and get to the bottom of something. And this person may not want to. And you may feel like, okay, you know, with this King of Swords reverse and the Sun reverse, like if you don't want to talk about this, you know, and things are going to be stuck, then we might as well not do this. And I just feel like there's something um, that's going to be disappointing you because you feel like you can't have this Ten of Cups. And you may feel like, well, I worked really hard, you know, to be with this person or um, to, to work things out. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck is a two of swords. So I feel like some of you are going to be questioning, what do you really have with this person with the Hierophant reverse? Because they're non-committal. Could be a Taurus here for some of you. Some of you could be a Pisces dealing with the Taurus, questioning your situation. Because we have the High Priestess, the Hierophant reverse, and the two of swords. You may be asking yourself, is this worth it? Yeah, we have the six of wands reversed here. You may feel like um, you can't have success and victory with this person. I do feel like there's love here. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. So this could be a Gemini for some of you. I'm picking up Pisces and Gemini here. There's a Pisces uh, Gemini relationship where you're like, okay, yeah, I do love this person, but you can't look at that. You can't look at it from that aspect anymore. You're like, where is this going? Do we have a future together? Don't waste my time. Like if all we have is love, but nothing's moving forward, we're not making anything happen. We're not planning. We're not talking about anything. I feel like there's going to be a conversation about this. 
don't know though. I feel like there's going to be an argument between the two of you because one is going to want to talk about it, but the other one is not. Three of Wands, you're going to talk about why are you still waiting around? Why is this person keeping you waiting? Like, you know, what's the reasoning behind it? It's like either you want me or you don't. So what messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? Um, King of Pentacles reverse. Someone here may be holding back because of their money. Somebody's money is not right. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They may tell you that they're working on their finances. I feel like even if you believe this person, you're going to be like, you know, even if you're working on your finances, like, why would you hold back from me? Because like, what, what is keeping you? What is, what is keeping you from committing or settling down? And I feel like you're going to find out something about um, a third party because we do have this three of swords here. Somebody may tell you that they're doing a lot of overtime, that they work late. And that's the reason why you don't see them. But you may find out something about a third party. Maybe they work with this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? I think I'm going to pull from another deck as well. Let me see what other deck I want to pull from. I didn't want for this to be a long reading, but I think I'm going to use more than one deck here. So what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect during Venus retrograde from July 22nd to September 3rd? September 3rd. What do they need to know? What should they look out for? The star card in reverse and Aquarius here for some of you, or you just don't have hope. You don't have faith in this anymore. I feel like at one point in time you did, you were like, yeah, we're going to fix this. We're going to work this out. But you feel like things still aren't moving forward. This person's not saying anything. They're not doing anything. Things aren't, aren't changing. It's like they're not getting better. You may start to feel like, you know what, I can be with someone else. Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, worry, fear, anxiety. Some of you have a fear of you wasting your time um, with this person, like wasted years. You could have been with this person for three years to six years, something like that for some of you. And you're very guarded now with the Seven of Wands because you feel like this person's playing games. Some of you are starting to stress out about the situation because you're like, okay, if I walk away and if I move on, what is out there for me? Will I be alone? But I feel like you have to look at it this way, collective. If this person is wasting your time or you feel like they're a waste of your time, then you should be looking elsewhere. Or at least not giving your all to the situation because I feel like there's someone here who's getting everything that they need from you, but you're not getting anything from them. And you've been questioning this for quite some time. And I feel like with Venus retrograde um, coming in, it's like it's going to cause you to, to sort of get clear about what you really want. For those of you who have a birthday coming up on July 23rd, you may feel a bit off balance or skeptical about something that happened in the past. You may want to revisit it, bring it up again. I just feel you being triggered. Yeah, we have the four of pentacles. Some of you decided to hang on to someone that did something to you. You didn't walk away from them. But I feel like you're going to be triggered by the situation. We have the strength reverse and the chariot reversal. Some of you may be a Leo dealing with the cancer. Um... With this chariot reverse and the strength reverse, you may feel like you don't have the strength to deal with this anymore because it lacks direction. Someone may be telling you that things are going to get better. They're going to fix it. They're going to act different, but it's not happening. You don't see it happening here. Yeah, death card reverse. Exactly. Something's not changing. Could be with the Scorpio. You're very, um, you, this person has hurt you in the past with this nine of wands. So it's sort of like, it's hard to believe them. I just feel like there's an argument or a fight coming here with the five of wands. And I feel like it's because um, things aren't changing in this connection. 
I'm trying to see what message I'm picking up here with this death reverse, the five of wands and the nine of wands. Some of you may find out that your person is still dealing with someone that they told you they left alone. They're just being more sneaky about how they do things. Like if you caught this person recently, some of you caught somebody or you found out something and they promise you that it wouldn't happen again. The two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're going to have a fallout with this person because you're going to find out that they're still dealing with someone. Yeah, the moon. Exactly. This can, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You may find out that this person is still dealing um, with someone they told you they left alone. And you're like, you know what? I knew I couldn't trust you uh, with this two of cups reverse here in the moon. You're like, okay, there's something being hidden that you're going to find out about. You know, when Venus goes retrograde, it's a time to review and reassess what's going on in your love life and other as uh, <laughs> I can't even get it out in other aspects of your life as well. That was a tongue twister. And so I feel like that's exactly what you're going to be doing. But I just feel like something is going to trigger you to where so this person has got to like, oh, my God, not this again. You're going to be like, yeah, this again, because I know that something is still going on. We have the nine of cups. You're not happy. You still feel like something's off. Like this person may be telling you that everything is fine, but you're like, nah, I, you know, everything is not fine. Like I still don't hear from you as much. We still don't spend a lot of time together. When I text you, you still take two or three days to text me back. Or a couple of hours, like you could text somebody at like 9, I'm just using any time, like 9 a.m. And they don't text you back to like 10 at night. And you're like, what the hell? Like, why does it take you so long to answer my text messages? Also, I'm picking up the energy that um, you're going to be talking to, to those of you who are resonating with this. You're going to be talking to your person about why you can only speak to them. A certain time of the day whether it's like you can't talk to them at night because you know that there was someone else and they won't answer or they won't text you back it's like stuff like that is not sitting right with you anymore you're like okay if i was putting up with it before like damn it i'm not now yeah it's like you're gonna feel the need not to to deal with it anymore five of swords yeah you're like okay somebody is having everything their way and they're fine with it because it's working out for them but it's not working out for you with this five of swords What messages do you have for the collective? What, oh, we have the Six of Cups. Someone's going to try to reconcile with you and fix the situation because they're having nostalgic feelings. And this card almost flipped on the floor. Page of Cups. Six of Cups, Page of Cups. Some of you, there's going to be reconciliation with someone. Expect this person um, to reach out to you. This card just flipped out of the deck. New beginning, the Fool. Some of you um, and Aries may come back your way. And you may question this situation, though. You may be like, okay, yeah, I was waiting for this person to contact me. I wanted to get back together with them, but I don't know if I can trust them anymore. Spirit, so what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect? from July 22nd to September 3rd. The Three of Pentacles, working something out with someone. I don't know, though. I feel like this is going to be against your better judgment with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Swords. Um, Somebody is going to take the initiative. Someone who was holding back. You haven't heard from this person in a while. And even though this is someone that you want to work to work something out with, with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, you're going to be mad at this person because they took their time coming in. It's like you're going to have questions for them like, why now? Why do you want me now? Like, you made me wait all this time. I feel like some of you wait. Um, you waited for someone to come back. You didn't think they were going to come back around to you or text you again. And then they do. And I feel like you're going to be excited that it happens but still disappointed. 
and heartbroken, maybe saying to yourself, you don't deserve for me to take you back. You, you, have, you know, I was depressed or sad without you. You didn't check on me. You didn't see if I was okay. And now you think you can just come back around here. All right, I just saw the judgment reverse. You're going to think twice about giving someone a second chance. It'd be a Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect during Venus retrograde, July 22nd to September 3rd? The Magician Reverse, the Devil. Some of you are still very much so attracted to someone, but you don't feel like you can manifest with this person. Possibly a, um, a Gemini or a Virgo. But the Ace of Wands is here and the Devil. We have Virgo, Gemini, and Capricorn for some of you. You just feel like it's hard to manifest with this person because they play a lot of games, but the passion, the chemistry is there. But you're like, I need more than that. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect during Venus retrograde? Page of Cups again with the Knight of Cups. All right, so some of you have love coming in. From a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or someone who's going to come back around really emotional. Trying to open back up the... Uh, Trying to open back up the connection. Maybe trying to make you believe that they've changed. Here, what messages do you have for the collective? During this Venus retrograde, July 22nd. This card almost slipped on the floor. We have so okay, for some of you, now this came out. So this is the second time this is coming out. The hangman and the strength card. This came out in this um first deck. We have Pisces and a Leo here. You feel like this person's leaving you out in the cold with the five of pentacles. We have the nine of cups, but this is someone who once made you happy. I feel like this was a happy, loving relationship at one point, and you want to know what happened to this. Like, I feel like you want to get to the bottom of why this person all of a sudden turned their back on you. Or things became stuck and you're like, okay, did you get, I feel like this person went back to someone else. It's like when you started talking to them, whoever's resonating with this, I'm picking up Pisces and Leo energy here. You may feel like they went back to someone they told you they left alone. So it's coming up again here. And you felt the, the energy shifting. This person withdrew their energy. They isolated themselves from you. They stopped texting you as much or calling you as much. You didn't hear from them. And you're like, okay, what happened? I feel like something happened out of the blue. So you can expect from um, this person possibly coming back around. When it's in talk about it, you had 12 pentacles. Some of you may be skeptical. I'm like, I'm not taking this person back. Or you're going to be in the stage of, I don't know. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're going to be remembering what this person did to you. Knight of Pentacles. Again, someone was dragging their feet, coming back around to you. They had a lot of secrets. They didn't want to tell you what was going on with them, with the High Priestess here. Trust your intuition when it comes to this person. Because I feel like what happens here is when they go through something with you, they run to this other person. And then when they go through something with that other person, they come to you. And you're like, no, I'm tired. I'm fed up with that type of energy. Some of you may be wanting to walk away from this with the Six of Swords reversed, but you're just not sure. The Knight of Swords. I definitely see communication coming in. Two of Wands. But I don't see you jumping to take this person back. Like, I don't see you jumping at the opportunity. Because there's a decision that you need to make with the Two of Wands. Whether you're still in love with this person or not. I see some of you just hanging back, doing you. Remembering how this person stabbed you in the back with the Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups. There's going to be a chance for a new beginning. But again, yep, we have the lovers here. So for some of you, it's a Gemini. With the lovers and the magician, Gemini, Virgo. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. Someone who betrayed you, someone who stabbed you in the back, maybe coming back around collective, telling you that they're sorry, apologizing. 
trying to see if you're going to um, accept them back in your life. Do you want to talk to them anymore? Okay, what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect during this Venus retrograde, July 22nd through September 3rd? The Five of Cups. You're not over this person. Three of Wands. Some of you are waiting for someone. King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn. Some of you are waiting for the King of Pentacles. Or this King of Pentacles is waiting for you. Take it how it resonates. We have the Six of Pentacles. At some point in time, this was an equal give and take. What is going on? Okay, so someone may still be hanging on to you, but they can't come towards you the way you want them to. Somebody may have a family here. But there's Ace, the Ace of Wands. They have a plan. Somebody may tell you, like, listen, I know I have a family situation going on, but I still want to be with you. If you want to be with me, just keep it real. Like, if you want to be with me, let's be together. Like, that's what I'm seeing. And you may be like, okay, so what are you going to do with this situation? What are you going to do about him or her? And they're like, I don't want to talk about that. It is what it is. That's what I'm seeing. They're going to be like, you know, do you want me back or not? Because I feel like this is somebody who can't stop thinking about you. Four of Cups. Yeah, Two of Swords Reverse. The Six of Wands. This person wants a victory with you no matter what. So how many of you are dealing with it? Wow, I told you. Listen, Two of Cups. This is somebody who... You guys are going to find out that somebody is in love with you. If you haven't um, been told this already or realized this already... And this person is like, no, I can't not be with you because I see it as a missed opportunity. Like they see not being with you, you not being in their life. But I feel like some of you may have walked away from this person or gave this person an ultimatum that you were going to step away. Could be an air sign, King of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but the Two of Cups is here. So this could be a soulmate that you're dealing with. And you may find out that this person is like, listen, I don't care what's going on either you love me and you want to be with me or you don't like let's not talk about everything around us let's just talk about us um they're not confused anymore about still wanting you in their life this person may have been confused before they may have been thinking about what's going to happen if they're going to get caught you know things like that i don't feel like they're thinking about that anymore you know, I almost hate to say it, but I feel like this person doesn't care. They just want you. All right, let's get a couple more. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What can they expect during this Venus retrograde, July 22nd through September 3rd? This card wanted to come out. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Some of you are going to decide not to um, work something out. Oh, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you may still stay with this person or give them another chance but i don't feel like you're going to work hard on this you're not going to put a lot into this the eight of pentacles is reversed with the queen of pentacles maybe you were very giving very nurturing very kind to this person some of you helped this person out a lot and then they they walked away from you and even though you're still in love with them you're like, I'm not going to be the person I was before. Like, we can get back together, but you don't, you're not going to get the old me. Let's see. Let's get one more. So give me one more. This card, when, yep, seven of swords. Some of you are going to be holding back. Still attracted to this person with the devil, seven of cups, the hermit, the moon. Some of you are the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, dealing with an Aries. And this person thinks that they're going to come back and everything is going to be like it was before, but it's not. That's what they don't know. The moon is here. You've changed. You're not that same person. You were upset. Um, and now you're very guarded. You were upset when this person walked away, possibly left you for someone else. You've had a lot of time to think about things with the hermit coming to... Um, perspective about what it is that you want 
know if you're dealing with a Capricorn or you're still very much so invested in this person, but it's just like how you're going to handle things this time around is going to be totally different than how things were before. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.